Omni, and she is now running right after us in order to put us back in prison. In this game, I'm somehow too stupid. I don't even try to catch up with the player. I just follow him with a very stupid face. Oh, look, it's Jax. He is very huge. It's the giant robot Kane, and he's about to attack us. <laughs> to find out what's in my room, you need to like and subscribe. Come on, I'm waiting. Well, three, two, one. Are you watching our videos again without subscribing? Okay, this is going to the cringe compilation. Hello, Hello everyone, friends, and today we will again escape from the prison of our amazing digital circus. Toilet, it's a shame we can't use it. Omni, you look simply irresistible in this game. I think they were able to convey all your beauty in this 3D model. Stop flattering me and let's just concentrate on beating this game. By the way, I really, really like the pictures that the developers added to this game. We already passed this prison once, and I remember that it looked really very beautiful. It looks like the developers have added more various innovations here. Oh yeah, I remember this game too. It's based on Barry's Prison Break, but this game differs significantly in many challenges. Let's now go to the room with the first boss and see what he looks like. Or rather, she. This is Pomni, and she is now running right after us in order to put us back in prison. We won't let her do this. Let's quickly escape from her. Oh my god, she can teleport. Okay, this will be a little more complicated. We were still able to escape from her. Oh my god, is she screaming like that? This scream was not at all like you, Pomni. It seems that the developers have not yet fixed this since the previous game. Well, let's climb this huge spiral staircase and move on. By the way, in our amazing digital circus, I have never seen such a staircase anywhere. I think this is absolutely no problem. If we need it in our amazing digital circus, then I'm ready to add it tomorrow. But you will be in charge of its construction. Um, no! In that case, I pass. If you really need this staircase, please build it. But I'll stay sitting and playing Roblox all day. Why the hell do we even need this ladder? And why did we even start this conversation? I think it's pointless. Let's continue to focus on beating this game. By the way, I'm still upset that I wasn't added to this game. By the way, look! It seems to me that this level can be completed in an easier way. I think there's a secret passage there. Look! We can actually make it to the very end of this challenge by jumping over this rock. Wow! I didn't even know that we could actually do this in this game! This is very cool. Are we speedrunners? If there was a competition for speedrunning this game, it seems to me that I would become a champion in it. I think that we should hold such a competition among our subscribers, and whoever reaches the finish line first will receive a prize in the form of Robux. By the way, this idea sounds pretty cool! It seems to me that if our subscribers write a large number of comments under this video, we will definitely do it. Now let's go to the location with the next boss. To be honest, I don't even remember who will be the next boss here. Let's see. Oh, exactly. Look, it's me. But it seems to me that in this game, I'm somehow too stupid. I don't even try to catch up with the player. I just follow him with a very stupid face. It seems to me that the developer should have at least depicted anger on my face. We were able to escape from you. It really was very easy. You were left behind because your character does not have enough movement speed to catch up with us. Well, now let's quickly move on to the next tests. Her scream sounds as close as possible to the Pomni scream. It seems to me that the developers should work on the voices of the characters in this game so that they at least sound like us. Look, there is some kind of dark room here. Usually in other games they sell skins in such a room. Let's see what's here. Oh, looks like this is the end of the map. Well, I think we shouldn't jump down there. Otherwise, we'll have to go through this test again. So let's go to this strange elevator and go up to the very top. Yes, it seems to me that jumping down there would be the most idiotic idea. Now we're taking that elevator and heading straight to the energy drink mission. By the way, I really like how the developers changed the location here. Because here they added a huge number of paintings and... Um, Black Zubel? Yeah, it really looks as unusual as possible. It seems to me that such a skin will definitely not be popular among players of this game. Look, there is some extremely unusual platform ahead. I think we should jump onto it. Oh, it looks like this platform doesn't really lead anywhere. She's standing here just for decoration. In any case, it's cool that the developers made it because it slightly diversified this game. Look. There is another secret passage ahead. Maybe we will see something new if we go through these platforms. There is no Black Zubel here again, and no offers to buy these skins. But we don't want to do this. But unfortunately, this notification that appeared on our screen is really impossible to remove. Therefore, we will have to reboot our character. Great! Finally, we can replay this level and do it on the second try. 
In fact, this is the most shameful thing because we have never died in Barry's prison break. And this is the first time we lost just because of stupid chance. In fact, we will not consider this as a defeat because it was solely the fault of the developers. Let's just not turn there anymore and go on to pass this test no matter what. Yes, I think this is a great idea. Let's do it exactly like this. Now we need to climb these stairs and then we will have to move the stairs straight under the ventilation. Wow! Looks like the developers did it for us! Well, this makes me very happy because sometimes it can be very difficult to place this ladder directly under the ventilation. It's good that it's already here in advance. Now we need to cross this bridge with a fan without falling down. And then we will need to pass the most boring test in this game, namely the test with the valves. Every time we play some kind of Barry Prison Escape clone, this is what irritates me the most. I really don't want to see these trials ever again in my life, and I really hope that someday they will be removed from here. Oh wow! I didn't know you actually had so much hatred! That sounded pretty creepy coming from your mouth, but I hope that the developers will watch our videos and realize that they should really remove this stupid challenge from this game because it really makes no sense. Because of him, we just stop in one place and run around, turning these fans over and over again in each clone of Barry's prison escape. Stop being so angry about this test. We already passed it. Right now we are heading to the next test, namely the race with fans. This task will be much easier than this and much more interesting because thanks to these fans, we accelerate to the highest possible speed. We are already as close to this test as possible. All we need is to go through this ventilation. By the way, it is stylized quite cool. Wow, just look, we finally got here. I really like this test very much because here we are running forward at an unusually high speed. Yes, but it would be really cool if the developers of this particular mode would add a little variety here because this fan run looks exactly the same as the fan run in the usual Barry Prison Escape. And now we're going straight to the Boss Cook's cafeteria. I completely forgot who the Boss Cook will be in this game, but it would be logical if it was a bubble. Oh look, it's Jax. He is very huge, and for some reason he is standing right next to the entrance to the cafeteria. It looks like he is waiting for us. He's running right behind us. Oh no, he hit us with food and slowed us down. But this means that we need to get to the bazooka as soon as possible in order to start fighting with him. The boss Jax in this game is very accurate, and he has hit us with food three times already, which is why he slowed us down significantly. I think we need to kill him as close to the exit as possible in order to try to fly forward with the help of a blast wave. Oh no! Unfortunately, the blast wave pushed us in a different direction. It seems that we were in the wrong place, and because of this, our flight direction was lost. Well, in that case, we will go down this slide on our own. It's a pity that we weren't able to use this feature of the game. Because with the help of this feature, we could have completed this game much faster. But unfortunately, this is not possible to do as often as we would like. Now let's go to the laser test. By the way, the test with lasers is the penultimate test before meeting the final boss. So we need to hurry up a little. We've already spent quite a lot of time playing through this game. Usually we defeat the boss when the 500th second appears on the timer, but this time at 550 seconds. We have just started completing the test with lasers. By the way, I really like the fact that the developers decided to change the colors of these lasers. It added dynamism to this test. We finally passed it. Well now, before meeting the final boss, we only have one test left. Namely, the test with bridges. I hope you remember our life hack. Are you saying that we need to take just one board and move it between platforms? Lord, it seems to me that no one passes this test differently because only an idiot takes a new board every time and puts it here. And finally, right now, we will meet the final boss. Oh look! It's the giant robot Kane, and he's about to attack us. By the way, the last time we played he hovered in one place and stood motionless, just sometimes shooting at us. But this time he's running straight after us, and he's determined to kill us today. Yes, this time he is really much more active than the previous one, but this will not stop us from killing him, because all we need to do is blow up both of his arms, and fortunately we deal with it quite quickly. Only two shots left! Come on, Jax! Great, we did it again! We defeated the giant robot Kane! 
Well, today I really enjoyed playing through this game because we discovered a lot of new things in it. Now let's move on to the next game. Hello everyone, friends, and today we will play the game Color or Die. This is the first time in my life I've heard about this game. What do we need to do here? Oh, I've already played this game. Here we need to collect 13 brushes by walking through a huge labyrinth and painting ourselves in different colors. What can stop us here? Oh, looks like I got it. Apparently this huge white weird dude. He looks pretty scary. This is something like the Slenderman Stickman in this world. Okay, now I know that we can hide from him if we stand near a wall of our color. And here is the first brush. There are only 12 brushes left to find. I didn't think such a colorful game could be so creepy. Oh, look, another brush. 11 pieces left to find. By the way, when this white monster is somewhere near you, interference appears on our screen. This is very good because thanks to this, we can find out where he is. He is walking somewhere not far from us. Oh, look, looks like he found some player. Oh no, it looks like he killed her. What's important now is to stay still. We need to get out of here as quickly as possible, but he continues to walk somewhere nearby. Oh no, here he is, he noticed us. Well, it looks like we've been stuck at this wall for a very long time. Okay, there's another red wall here. You have to wait for him to pass by. By the way, look, it looks like we can revive other players. Oh no, unfortunately, this is a paid feature. Well, let's open this red door with our paint. We opened it and got some kind of screwdriver. Well, now we need to find which way we can open with this screwdriver. Unfortunately, we have lost the red color, and this means that now we cannot camouflage near the red walls. By the way, there was another brush in this room. Okay, only 10 left to find. I think we can handle it today. And here is the secret path that we need to open with a screwdriver. Cool, now we are in some very strange black and white world. What does it look like? We need to go through this parkour here. Let's jump on these different painting supplies. Look, here is a brush in a new color. Wow, it's orange. Now we will need to go back to the maze and use this orange paint to look for the next brushes. Now we need to find a passage that opens with orange paint. And here it is. Great. Let's go there. Look, and here there is already yellow paint. Well, it looks like now we need to look for the yellow passage. This guy is really starting to annoy me. He's always following me. Oh no, looks like this player is out of luck. Well, you should have looked better for the yellow wall or rushed a little faster. Buddy, maybe you'll stop standing right behind me. I'm just standing and looking at the wall. Wait, where did he go? It looks like he's very interested in us. Oh my God, he teleported again. Where does he even get such a superpower? Look, there's some kind of black and white staircase here. Looks like this is the next pass. Let's get a look. Oh, look. There's another brush here. We have already found five brushes out of 13. Okay, there's some kind of map drawn on the wall here. Looks like we need to try to cover this entire route. We came to the path where this map led us, but unfortunately here is just the final door that will open when we collect all 13 brushes. Well, let's continue looking for the yellow passage. And here is another brush. This is already the sixth brush out of 12. This is almost half of the total amount that we found. Oh, one more, seven out of 13. This means that we have already collected more than half of the brushes that we need. The only thing left for us is to find the yellow passage. Oh my God, finally we found this yellow passage. We were looking for it for a really long time. Well, now we need to go through that door, look. We again found ourselves in a black and white world, and this is another parkour. But it looks much more difficult than the previous parkour that we completed before. This parkour looks much more difficult than all the previous ones. I really hope that we will be able to pass it, and we will not fall down. Here we need to walk on some huge, strange cubes and cross the abyss on huge, strange black and white sticks. Well, it looks as stylish as possible, but I'm as scared as possible. It's going to happen. Looks like we've reached the very top. There are a huge number of black and white sticks here. Now we need to get to them, and then we will find ourselves on a safe platform. We finally did it. Look, here's another brush and a green can of paint. Looks like we're getting through everything pretty quickly today. There are only five brushes left to find, and I hope that we can handle this very quickly. And now, the main thing for us is to find the green passage here. And here we are again, looking for another passage. This time, this passage was green. We have speeded up this process a little for you because we walked around this entire location for as long as possible. 
and could not find this passage. Lord, it seems to me that he... And here he is! Look, we have opened another location. Here we picked up turquoise paint and another brush. There are only four brushes left to find in this game, and it looks like we still need to find some kind of triangle in order to open this door. And the search for the turquoise passage took us much longer than the search for the previous passage because this passage was hidden in the first black and white location. We really couldn't remember for a very long time where we needed to use this turquoise paint, so we walked through the maze for a very long time and were looking for him. But we also slightly sped up this process for you so that you don't have to watch 20 minutes of meaningless wandering through the labyrinth. I think we need to go back to the first black and white world we were in. Let's find the entrance there and check. Maybe we missed something there. And here he is. Great! Do we have to do this parkour again? Lord, it seems to me that we are stuck in this world forever. Well, I really hope that it's not in vain that we returned here to find something. Oh, look! There really was a blue aisle here. We forgot about it last time. We really couldn't remember about it for 20 minutes while we were just running around mindlessly, so the maze. Seriously? Okay, looks like we don't have any paint, but we do have a triangle for that weird wall. This means that now we are more vulnerable to this huge white weirdo. Okay, I hope we don't run into him while we're running towards that wall with the figurines. Look, this wall is somehow strange. Wait, what? Oh, we found some secret passage. Is this someone's classroom? Here on the wall in the corner, there are some strange drawings and everything is black and white. It seems like it has something to do with this white guy's background. But I guess that's the least of our worries. Now our main goal is to get out of here as quickly as possible. And the record time we wasted was the time we were looking for that stupid room with a triangle in the wall. We really looked for her for a very long time because we forgot where she is in this labyrinth. And due to the fact that we didn't have any paint with us, we had nowhere to hide from this white monster. But in the end, we found a room anyway and continued our journey. We've been wandering through this labyrinth for 20 minutes. It seems to me that this room just disappeared in some mystical way. I can't even imagine where she is. Let's just try to remember where she was. It seems to me that she is somewhere nearby. And look! Finally! Oh my god, it took us a really long time, but we finally found the blue paint! And now we need to find where we can use it. I remember that somewhere not far from here, there was a blue door that we can enter using this paint. Nearby. Are you sure about this? Last time we also thought that the room with the triangle was somewhere not far from us, but we looked for it for 20 minutes. Oh, by the way, here's the blue door. It looks like you were indeed right. What is here? Saw. Do we need to cut some wood here? Lord, it seems to me that this will take us even longer. And besides all these problems, this white monster is chasing us, and we don't have paint so that we can blend in with the wall. By the way, have you noticed that lately we really have stopped coming across brushes? We've found 10 brushes out of 13. We only have three left to find. But I really don't remember where any room is where we need to saw something. I remember for sure that in the two black and white rooms we visited, there was nothing like that. In the first room, we have already taken everything that is possible. And in the second room, we need a key that is located in some place unknown to us. Well, I think we need to try to continue following this labyrinth. I really don't understand where we need to go. I don't remember where we can use this saw. There were definitely boards somewhere in this game, but it seems to me that they were somewhere at the very beginning of the game. I can't even imagine how we can get back there. God, this guy is really starting to annoy me. We really can't get out of here because he's constantly waiting for us to get out of here so he can attack us. I think we need to find a way to trick him and find a way to escape. Oh no! Looks like he killed us! Well, let's move on to the next game. Hello everyone, and today you and I will be running away from a new pizzeria. New pizzeria? Sounds interesting. We recently escaped from the same pizzeria and Escape from Papa's Pizza was truly one of my favorite games. Oh yeah! I remember this game, but this pizzeria is called Bob's Pizzeria! I think that it will be no less interesting than that game. I hope that this will really be the case. Well, let's get started. Okay, we find ourselves in some room and a red light shows us where we need to go. Let's follow him. Wow, I've never seen anything like this before. Well, let's really go straight for him. It's like the beginning of Daddy's Pizza Parlor. There's some kind of door here. Oh no, it's Chef Bob. He says we need to add toppings before we move on. Um, okay, let's do this. I wonder what toppings are here. Let's get a look. 
uh, uh, limbs, blood, boogers, and nails? Seriously? Looks like this is a very unusual pizzeria. Well, I suggest drawing a nail heart on this pizza so that it doesn't look as disgusting as it can. I think it's disgusting to put your fingernails on pizza anyway. But this drawing looked pretty good. I hope the boss appreciates it. Looks like he really liked it. I actually tried really hard. Now let's head into this room. Oh look! Looks like someone spilled ketchup. Although it looks like it's not ketchup, but blood. Judging by the ingredients we put on our pizza, it seems to me that even this white thing is not flour. Okay, now we're in the refrigerator and we need to find some kind of key. I think finding the key in this very blue room will be quite difficult. Well, it looks like the chief is running right behind us. I think we should trick him and run around him. The key must be somewhere on the shelves in this refrigerator. Let's concentrate on finding the key on these shelves. I think he must be somewhere nearby. This room is quite large. Oh, look. I see some kind of blue glow. Great. We picked up the key and now we need to find a way out. And here is the way out. Great. Wow. We jumped into some strange hole and it looks like now we need to choose the right path. Jax, how do you know all the right paths? Have you played this game before? No, I just chose the path to random, and it looks like I was lucky to do it on the first try. Okay, now let's go ahead. We need to pass these tests ahead. I remember a similar challenge in Escape from Papa Pizza's Pizzeria. Well, now let's go forward. I'm wondering what other new challenges will be in this game. The challenges in this game are actually quite challenging. It seems to me that in the Escape from Papa Pizza's Pizzeria, the tests were much easier because there we were able to pass everything the first time. Okay, we ended up in some room with toilets and now we need to get out of it. Look, we again found ourselves in some room with stoves. There's some weird flying dough in this room? Okay, the main thing is to pass by these ovens so that this dough does not kill us. Flying dough? This pizzeria surprises me more and more every time. Cool! We managed to get through this! And now we need to jump over some strange green and yellow liquids and move on. And here these strange cooks for some reason throw pizza at the wall. It seems that in this way they take out their anger or get rid of unnecessary pizzas that they accidentally ruined. It looked as strange as possible, but it's good that we passed them by. Now we are going down to some kind of another basement. I think there are too many levels to this pizzeria. We found ourselves in some kind of giant room with jumping hooks. Now we need to get past them and we will move on. Great, we managed to do it. And now we need to go through this door with blue windows. Okay, here we also have a test with some steam. Now we need to walk so as not to touch this steam. Okay, and now we find ourselves in a room where garbage bags are floating in the lava. It looks like we'll have to jump on these garbage bags to get to the other side. It's not as easy as it might seem because there are platforms on top that make it a little difficult for us to jump, but we still manage to do it. We go further into this room, and now we need to somehow open this big door. Looks like we need to open this electrical panel. Wow, I have never seen such tests before. Here we really need to use a screwdriver to open this electrical panel. I really didn't expect to see such challenges in this game. It's very cool that the developers decided to diversify this game so much. Well, this is really difficult because here you need to make circular movements with the mouse in order to untwist this electrical panel. Cool, we were able to do it. I already like this game much more than Papa Pizza Pizzeria because the variety of challenges in this game is really very large. We finally jumped over this lava, and now we will need to go past this hydraulic press in order to go further. Okay, let's pass this test. It seems pretty easy to me. Oh, I didn't even know that under this hydraulic press, there is a conveyor belt along which we move much faster. It's cool that we managed to pass this test on the first try. Now we need to get past these thorns. Why are there spikes in a pizzeria anyway? Is this to make the dough leaky? But why does pizza have holes in it? Okay, it seems to me that I will never understand this. But nevertheless, we passed this test, and now we need to go down. Lava is flowing here again. By the way, I just wanted to wonder why lava is in the pizzeria. But this is Roblox, in which there is no logic. Therefore, I think that it is simply not worth doing this. Wow, this test seems to be the most difficult because it's not clear where we need to stop. Here you just need to move forward according to your feelings. I'm very surprised that Jax can pass this test on the first try. It really looks as cool as possible. Okay, we press some button and the liquid that was at the bottom flowed into the drain. Now we need to press the button that appeared in this pit. 
It looks like, with the help of this button that appeared in the pit, we will be able to open the door through which we will need to go further. I really hope this is true. Great. This is the door to some next location with tests. Let's go there. I think there are too many challenges in this game. At least no pizzeria should have so many tests for people. It doesn't even look like some kind of production workshop. Rather, it looks like an obstacle course that Mr. Beast built. By the way, yes, I completely agree with you. It seems to me that this definitely does not look like any production workshop. Okay, now the main thing for us is to pass this test and go to the stairs. It seems to me that the final test is already as close as possible. I really like that this game really has a lot of saves, because if there were fewer of them, this game would simply be impossible to complete. There are really a lot of difficult tests here that are quite difficult to pass, but as always, we pass all the tests the first time because Jax is a professional in passing any obbies. And in this location, we need to choose the right door. I think we should go to the kitchen. Okay, looks like we chose the right door and now we will need to pass some test. Here, two chefs are preparing a very strange pizza. Looks like the main ingredient will be this guy lying here. Looks like now we need to help them prepare. Looks like we'll need to use this oven now. Okay, we put this pizza in the oven. Now we have to cook this pizza. Let's see what test awaits us. This challenge looks pretty weird. Okay. It looks like here we need to turn the levers that light up in red. It's pretty easy. I think that there is nothing difficult in this test and we can cope with it very easily. In fact, the timer constantly starts counting down the time faster and faster, and with each lever it becomes more and more difficult. But I think that I have a pretty good reaction and I can pass this test very easily. We've already turned six levers, only four left. The very last levers are the heaviest because the timer here really starts counting down at a very high speed. But Jax, with his remarkable reaction, was able to cook this pizza very quickly and pass this test. It's very cool that we were able to do this. I hope this really was the last test. Now we're heading to the garage. It looks like next we need to go down to this very creepy basement in which for some reason, human limbs are scattered. Are you really surprised by this? Bro, they make pizza out of people here. Are you seriously asking this question now? Look at some green button down there. Looks like we need to click on it. This location looks quite large and empty. It looks like the final boss fight awaits us now. Yes, just look. It looks like it will appear here now. Oh no, it is he, Giant Chef Bob. He looks very angry and it looks like we're really going to have to defeat him now. Well, let's start doing this. I'm very interested in what weapons they will give us to fight the giant cook. I'm very interested to know this too. Um, seriously, pizza? Are we gonna throw pizza at this chef while he shoots ketchup at us? Okay, I think this fight will be pretty easy because he can't hit us. Jax, you're doing pretty well. It seems that as a child he really loved throwing food, and that's why you always hit this boss right in the head without missing a beat. Yes, he actually does quite well. Well, let's just continue fighting him. By the way, his HP bar has turned yellow. This means that he no longer feels as good as he felt before. He has less than half HP left. Come on, Jax, do not stop. Keep throwing pizzas at him so we can finally kill him. I'm trying very hard, but he starts shooting more and more often. Because of this, it seems to me that he may soon be able to defeat me. Oh no, he pours ketchup on the ground. Look, for some reason he started attacking us in a different way. You only have to hit it with pizza a few times. Come on, Jax, don't stop. Keep throwing pizza at this boss's head. We almost got it. The main thing is not to let him harm us. Great. We were finally able to defeat him. It was very easy. I really enjoyed this game and how varied the challenges were. Now, let's move on to the next game. Hello, everyone, friends. Today, we will play the game Amanda the Adventurer 2. The demo version of this game appeared literally recently, and we immediately decided to play it. I don't quite know what kind of game this is, but it looks extremely creepy. Look! There's some kind of computer here! It looks like it says that we need to scan the books and we will learn the story about them. Okay, this is a book that says, JP6. Let's scan it. There are a large number of people here who rented this book. Okay, I think this should definitely tell us something. I think we should explore the location further and look for more books. There is a second hall here. Let's see what's in it. Oh lord, there's a children's corner and there's some kind of book lying on the floor, but nothing is written in it, so I think that we don't need this book. Okay, looks like there is a player for VHS cassettes like there was in the first part. This means we need to find the tape somewhere, but I don't understand at all how to find it. 
Did you hear that? Some sound too strange for a library. Okay, let's continue looking for other books here. Look! There is another book here. It's about people who wash skyscrapers. It has letters too. It says CE5. I think this is what a book should be useful for us. Let's try to scan it. But it looks like we won't be able to do it. Okay, I think we should keep looking for different books. Let's get out there and keep doing it. The only thing I don't understand is why do we even need all these letters and numbers? Where can we enter them? Okay, here's another book. Let's take it and try to see what is written in it. Okay, there are no letters here, but there is a number eight. Well, I think this should help us somehow. Maybe we should take these books to the scanner and try scanning them. Well, let's see what's in this book. Okay, here's a new story about the owners of this book. Well, I think we have already collected three books in which there are various symbols. This means that from them we must compose some kind of code. Look! There's some kind of combination lock here. It looks like I found where we need to enter these characters. Now you need to try to guess the code. Okay, we have CE5 on this book, number 8 on the next book, and JP6 on the third. Okay, everything is very simple here. Guys, I guessed what code we need. Let me try to enter it all with my own hands. Are you serious? Even I haven't guessed even close to what code we need. Well, give her a try with this code. Maybe she'll be right. In fact, everything is very simple here. The password will be 6358. Oh God, what was that sound? Okay, the main thing is not to be distracted by it and continue to enter the code. Well, we entered the code. Now we will find out what is inside this box. Great, it finally happened. I thought we would be solving this mystery forever. And now we need to take this cassette straight to the VHS player in order to find out what is recorded on it. I hope that no one will take it away from us along the way, because judging by the sounds here in this library, there is someone besides us. Okay, let's just go to the player, and no matter what... Okay, we are here, and now we will find out what is written on it. I hope no one scares us at the very beginning. Oh wait, it seems to me that there is one character missing in this picture. I hope this little lamb is okay and still alive. Okay, now we'll see what's written here. Hi friends, I'm Amanda. Hi Amanda. Have you ever wanted to go far, far away? Very much. Well, we can. If you're trying to escape from the circus with her help, you won't succeed. At least in our imaginations, we can. Haha, <laughs> what I was talking about. With my magic train. Okay, looks like I don't have a chance. If you could visit anyone in the world, who would you go see? I think we should write her name here so that she will be pleased. Do you really think you could do that? She doesn't seem to like the idea very much. I love to daydream about all the places I could have been. Think about all the places we can go. Let's plan a trip. I've made pictures of all the places I want to go. There is absolutely nothing to be seen here. Okay? The only thing I understood is the Eiffel Tower. Oh, wow! It's so dark in here. Should I open the curtain or turn on the lamp? I think turning on the lamp will be much easier, because she might get angry if we choose the window. She's a little strange, isn't she? Let's just wait until we turn on the lamp and continue. That's much better. Now, let's plan that trip. There are three places I want to go on my magic train today. Only three? But there are First, five of them I in the pictures. I want to see the Eiffel Tower. Where can I do that? Eiffel Tower? I think it's obviously Paris. We'll go to Paris first, on the magic train! <sighs> it looks like a ticket to Paris costs two coins. Let's see what I have in my piggy bank. Please, just don't torture the poor pig. What's the best way to open this piggy bank? I can pull out the plug, or I can smash it! Of course, get a plug! Are you a complete idiot? Ah, uh, you're no fun. But I'm not as cruel as you, and I think it's better to be boring but kind than evil but cheerful. I hope she doesn't do any harm to this cute pig piggy bank. Okay, we got some coins! Wait, what? Oh no! She broke it! Lord, this girl is starting to piss me off! Let's count them together! One, two, three, four, five! I have five coins! That's more than enough for our first stop! We just need to take away two coins! Can you count them? I think you can handle this perfectly well on your own, if you have knowledge from elementary school and your IQ is a little more than that of bread. The next place I want to 
to go is very special because it makes me think of our friend Gretchen over there. Let's go to the Isle of Dead Dolls. Where can I find that? Island? Um, I'm very bad at geography. Wow, planning this trip with you is going to take forever, isn't it? I think we need to choose the green picture on top. Our next stop is Mexico City. A ticket to Mexico City on my magic train costs three coins. What the hell was that thing just under the sofa? Was it some kind of possum or something? Anyway, that ticket costs three coins. So let's take those away from what we have. Do we really have to help this idiot count now? Three! Oh my god. It seems to me oh that I no, really don't want to help her in this coins. game. And I still have one more place I want to visit. We need some more money. What are we going to do? Maybe get a job? I can sell one of these for some coins. Which one do you think will get us the most coins? I think the clown in the center looks the most appropriate and the most beautiful. You really think I can get coins for that old thing? Why not? He looks quite handsome. Okay, let's sell the rooster. Let's sell funny Mr. Rooster. Someone gave this to me when I was feeling really bad and scared, and it made me laugh. I hope he can go make someone else laugh. Now we need to help her create a page on eBay. Wait, did she really just throw it up and get coins for it? Okay, she lives in quite a strange world. Wow, I got three coins for Mr. Rooster. Okay, let's see how much our next destination costs. I love learning about history on my trips. Where can I take a tour and learn about Jack the Ripper? Jack the Ripper lived in London, so we should choose Big Ben. We're going to London! How do you know all this? A ticket to London is four coins, and I only have three. I don't know where I'm going to get more coins for my trip. I might as well not even go anywhere. This means that you stay at home and we fly to London. Wait a minute. I have a coin in my pocket. Now I have four. That's enough for our last stop. Crap. No, 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 go away. Get this weirdo out of here. To be honest, I don't want to help her at all. I would really like this possum to steal all her money, but it looks like if we don't help her, we won't continue playing. So we'll have to do this. Who the heck was that guy? He was going to take my coins. It would be better if he actually did it. Good. All four are still there. But let's count how many we need to pay for the ticket to London. Again? One, oh my god! Two, when will you learn three, to count on your own? Four. Wait, why does she only have four fingers? Well, I hope now she will get on this train and see some very, very distant country where we will never see her. And she will no longer be able to pester us with her stupid questions and requests. It seems to me that this train simply cannot go far because it is moving in a circle, only if it does not accelerate to high speed. This is fun, I guess. But I wish I really could go see the world. Finally, this tape is over! Well, it looks like we've seen everything on it, and now we need to come up with... Oh no, God! What is this? What is this giant hand? I hope that giant hand doesn't suck us into the ventilation now. Oh, look! Looks like she's giving us some kind of tape. Okay, thank you, Mr. Huge Giant Scary Hand. Let's now see what's on this tape. I hope she doesn't suddenly come back and grab us. By the way, now we know where all these terrible sounds came from. Let's see what's on this tape. It gets awfully lonely in here at night. There's a legend that there is a special, special toy hidden deep in these woods. It makes me think about what Okay, which toothbrush do you think I should? I know which one you like. The blue one. <laughs> How did you get it? Who even are you? Go away! We shouldn't talk about them. I'm Amanda. Hi, I'm Amanda. Hi, friend. And you didn't help me at all. So you'd better find something different. But I guess we all get a little scared at night, right? What are you afraid of? <laughs> Looks like.
like this is the end of this demo. Well, it was pretty creepy, but this girl managed to piss me off through the screen. Okay, now let's move on to the next game. Hello everyone, friends. Today we will play Bo's Revenge. Oh, I know this guy! I played a game with him as a child! He needed to be fed and played with! Yes, it's something like a Tamagotchi! Only here, instead of a cute animal, there is some strange thing that looks like turd. This guy is asking to feed him. Well, let's start doing it. It seems to me that we did not place it very well. Maybe it would be more comfortable for him to sit on this thing. Great! So much better! Now it will be more convenient for us. It seems to me that he is too gluttonous. He eats more and more food and does not become full. When are you going to get enough? We are already tired of feeding you. Oh, great! It finally happened. Well, now let's send him to wash himself. I want to note that this game is called Bo's Revenge, so I wouldn't be rude to him at the very beginning. It seems to me that this guy... Where did he go? It looks like he fell through the textures. Okay, we had to restart this game and bring this idiot here again. Now the main thing is not to accidentally push him through the textures again, so let's lather him up very carefully. Zubal, I think you called him very rudely. This guy can take revenge on us for... Why is he even going to take revenge on us? We took care of him all the time. I hope that at some certain point he will not become evil and attack us, although his look looks quite strange. It seems to me that he is a little unwell. Let's find a cure for him. Great. Here it is. Now he is better and wants to play with the ball. How can he even play with the ball? He has no arms or legs. But it looks like he just likes the way this extremely strange ball bounces off all the walls and then hangs in the air. In general, the physics of this game are quite strange. Okay, baby. I think we've played enough, and now it's time for you to sleep. Let's take him to the bedroom and let him fall asleep. Great. Finally, this guy is in bed. Well, now we're heading straight into the second night. I hope nothing bad happens to us. In general, I don't believe that this guy can do anything bad because he looks as cute as possible. He sits on this pillow and smiles. Well, let's take it. Oh, wait. Someone rang our doorbell. Looks like someone decided to come visit us. Let's see who it is. Oh, it's Polina! Okay, now they are both hungry. I need to feed both of these guys, but it seems to me that the little Boo himself is not very happy about the new guest. Looks like Poo is getting a little jealous. Well, let's feed them both. The main thing is that there is enough food in our refrigerator for both of them to eat. Last piece of pizza left. Great! Now little Poo is no longer as angry as he was before. I think it was enough for him to just eat. Now let's play with them. Looks like we need to find food! Well, I think we should go to the store while the guys play with each other. Okay, I hope we buy enough food. Great, we're back from the store. Wait, where's Pulina? Looks like she's gone home. Well, let's send our Poo to bed and try to find her at our house. I really don't like the way he looks at us. I think he's up to something. Well, I think we should just go to bed and ignore him. I think this is the best decision. Okay, we went to bed and are heading straight into the third night. I think I heard some noise. Let's check what it was. It was pretty creepy. Wait, where's Pooh? God, what is he doing here? What's wrong with your face? Looks like he's hiding something behind that closet. We need to try to move this cabinet and see what he hides behind it. Yeah. It looks like Poe is against it. Okay, let's put him back in the bed and let's go see what he's hiding in that closet. Lord, his look is as creepy as possible and it feels like he's looking straight into our souls. Okay, let's move this closet and go inside. It seems to me that it looks like some kind of traces of blood. It's too dark in there. Maybe we shouldn't go there before it's too late. Oh God, it was Polina. It turns out that Pooh killed her. Oh no, it looks like he cut off our limbs. Wait. Don't tell me that he wants to take revenge for the entire time we were courting him. He actually tore off our limbs so that we could become like him. Okay, we woke up in his bed, and it looks like we can't move. And here he is. He brought us a status board. It looks like with this board, we can ask him to take us from room to room. Now we need to find transport so that we can move and find a way out of here. Well, okay, I think now we need to find something in this house. Let's head to the kitchen! It is possible that in the kitchen we will find some item that will help us escape from here. He starts feeding us. I think we should explore the boxes that are near us. Let's check out what's here. Okay, we found a battery for the car. I really don't know what car this battery is for. The rest of the drawers do not open, but we also remembered the number that was written on the refrigerator door. I remembered. I saw a machine in the game room. I think this is the same machine that we need. 
Oh no, we accidentally pressed the bathroom button. Well, now he will take us to the game room, and now we will need to fix this machine with the help of a battery. I think it would be too suspicious to fix this car while he's looking at us. We need to figure out how we can distract him. We need to throw the ball out of this room for him to go after it. And while he is in the other room, we will be fixing the car. Great. I think this plan is simply excellent. Oh no! He is coming back! I hope we have enough time! Great! Looks like we fixed this car. Now we need to distract him once again so that we can get into this car and drive away from here. Oh no! We accidentally threw the ball away again. Come on, buddy! Go get him! In the meantime, we're here. Um, we'll sit and wait for you. So okay, I found it. Now we need to get into the car as quickly as possible and leave here. This plan won't work. We need to find a way to open the door so that we can leave through it. For this, I think we need to use the phone that is in the bedroom so that someone can come to our aid. It's kind of weird that we can't just call 911 if we have the ability to use the phone. Maybe this is the logic of the game? Uh, okay. Now it is clear. Number 9 is broken. Well, looks like we're calling pizza delivery now. The pizza delivery guy will be here in 30 seconds. So we need to call this idiot and ask him to take us to the game room so we can be as close to the car as possible. Okay, he's here, and it looks like he's about to take us to the playroom. Now the main thing is to be on time. You are using the machine to leave here. The look on his face scares me the most! Sometimes it seems to me that he will eat us right now with his giant mouth! Oh, did you hear that? Looks like the pizza has arrived! Now we need to get in the car and leave here. Great! He ran to meet the delivery. Now we need to get into this car and leave here. I hope that we will have such an opportunity. Wait, what? What's going on with this car? It's uncontrollable. We can't move around these toys properly. Okay, Jax. Try to get out of here as carefully as possible. For this, you need to turn this car around. It's actually quite difficult, but I think that you should definitely cope with it. Okay, we're almost out of here. Now the main thing is to get through this narrow doorway. Oh my god. These toys really bother us a lot. Okay, come on, Jax. I believe that you will succeed. Just go to the exit. Great. I left the room and now we will finally get out of here. Oh no! God! He saw us and pushed us away. Looks like we hit the wall really hard. Okay, now I think we can get back in the car and still try to get away from him. Come on, Jax! You just need to get away from him! My god, this car is truly the most difficult to drive! She practically doesn't turn! Oh no! He caught us! Unfortunately, today we were not able to escape from him. But I hope we can do it next time. Now let's move on to the next game. Hello everyone, friends. Today we will escape from Hello Kitty Prison. Hello Kitty Prison? Seriously? I think the developers have too much imagination. Haven't you seen other modes in Roblox that are similar to Barry's Prison Break? I even saw LeBron James's Prison Break. LeBron James Prison? Sounds quite unusual. LeBron James is very kind, and I don't think he's suited to the role of a cop in prison. Here comes the Hello Kitty Cop. It's cool that they put a baton in her hand. In fact, Hello Kitty with a cop's baton in her hands looks very creepy. I'm still surprised that LeBron James Prison exists. It sounds so absurd that I even wanted to play it. If our subscribers write about this in the comments, we will definitely try to get through this prison. By the way, we escaped from Hello Kitty, and now we are heading straight to the room with toilets. In general, it seems to me that you can come up with a lot of super absurd prisons. For example, Griffin's prison. It seems to me that this would be the stupidest prison in the world. No, it seems to me that the dumbest prison in the world would be the Simpsons prison. Because all the characters except Lisa are pretty stupid. Imagine if there was a prison for presidents. I think it would be very funny to see presidents as prison guards. And I would most like to play Winnie the Pooh's prison and Mickey Mouse's prison. Oh, exactly. We've already played Mickey Mouse prison. So all we have to do is find Vinny's prison. In general, it would be great if among our subscribers there were guys who found some super cool and cool prisons and wrote their name in the comments. And we would definitely look at all the prisons that they offer us and try to go through one of them. Oh yeah, this idea sounds really cool. By the way, here is the second boss. It looks like this is just a Hello Kitty fan in a pink t-shirt. I didn't think that there were Hello Kitty fans among such adults. In fact, this is just an ordinary boss knight from Barry's prison break who was put on a pink jersey. By the way, in this location they changed the design and repainted all the steps in different colors. It looks very funny, but it doesn't really look like a real prison. But in the location with energy drinks, everything is decorated rather gloomily. There are gray walls with black star patterns. But the energy drink race itself 
is quite colorful, and even the gray metal platforms were repainted purple. It's actually more like Kuromi's color than Hello Kitty's. Do you know who Kuromi are? I didn't expect this from you. It turns out you know about all the characters that were invented for children. Maybe this happens because I myself am a character that was invented for children? I at least need to know all our competitors. Now, let's put this ladder right under the ventilation. Unfortunately, in this game, no one did it for us, and we will have to do it ourselves. But I am sure that I will be able to do it the first time since I have already done it a huge number of times. These tasks are already as easy as possible for us because we go through them every day, except for those moments when we play other games. By the way, guys, write in the comments what games you would like to see more often on our channel. We play escapes from various prisons very often, but it seems to me that maybe you would be interested if we tried to play something else. I'd like to try some other games myself. For example, the Pizza Tower in Roblox, or the Tower of Hell. By the way, we've been talking about it for quite some time, but we still haven't tried to play it. I think it would be very cool if we tried to do this because we could go a lot in this game. Yes, I also think that this would be very cool. By the way, did you notice that there is no timer in this game? Oh my god, seriously? The developers of this game decided to reduce the distance between platforms. Well, okay, it looks like we don't even need to move here, but just wait for the airflow to take us all the way to the stairs. I really don't like it when game developers do this, but it looks like they do it specifically for children who have any difficulties passing this test. Well, personally, for us, this test was as easy as possible, and now let's go to the boss cook in the cafeteria. And here comes the cafeteria. All the walls here are painted purple. By the way, they decided to leave the default boss nickname, Chief Harry, here. This is very sad because I really hope to see something new here. Let's quickly defeat her and go to the next test. It looks like the developers of this game are just very lazy. Well, we only have to make a few shots at this boss to defeat him. Great, we defeated him. But unfortunately, after the explosion, he does not push us out with a blast wave. So this time we will have to go down on our own again. We haven't been able to do this several times already. Maybe we were just lucky last time. In fact, this is a rather difficult trick because in order to perform it, you need to kill the boss exactly opposite this slide and stand so that he does not throw you in the other direction. Little time is devoted to this. But it looks quite epic when we use a blast wave to fly straight onto this hill. By the way, we have already passed the tests with lasers, and we just have to pass the test with bridges before meeting the final boss. I really hope that we can do this much faster. It's obvious that the fastest way to pass this test is with the help of our life hack, in which we will use just one bridge. I think I've said this a thousand times already, but among the people who will watch this video, there are definitely new viewers of our channel, and I think that for this information will be useful for them. One more bridge left. Come on, Jax! And here she comes. A giant spinning Hello Kitty. It's cool that they changed the color scheme for this boss and didn't just add a giant Hello Kitty head instead of Chief Barry's little head. I really like the way this boss looks. Yeah, I like the new design of this boss too. She looks very cool. It would be great if the developers decided to finally add a new way to defeat this boss because every time all we need is to just blow up his two arms and we defeated this boss again. Yes, I also really like this game because it has a very cool design and the whole game looks as bright and colorful as possible. I think this will be one of my favorite prisons. Now let's move on to the next game. Hello everyone, friends, and today we will run away from Peppa Pig's house. I wouldn't say it looks like Peppa Pig's house. It looks more like some kind of prison. Okay, then that's what we'll call this video, Peppa Pig Prison Escape. Since when did you start deciding what we will call our video? Yes, I am also interested in this question. Oh, sorry, guys. I didn't know I couldn't do it. Well, okay, call this video whatever you want. Okay, then we'll call this video, um, I guess, the amazing digital circus characters play Peppa Pig Prison Run. Guys, while you were deciding what to call this video, Jax has already passed a huge number of tests. Now he is running around. As soon as we paid attention to him, he immediately lost. Sorry guys, I just didn't get enough sleep. Well, let's continue our journey to this amazing home. And here on the floor is some strange green liquid. It looks like Peppa Pig's parents are so crazy that they have a pool of acid in their house. I think this is just the beginning of all the madness that we will see in this game. What? Flying knives? Okay. I think this definitely shouldn't happen in any home. 
especially if children play near these knives. Okay, now we need to climb up these strange flying fruits. Flying fruits? Sounds extremely interesting. There really are a lot of weird things in this house. Okay, we're in some kind of ventilation. And now, apparently, we need to find a way out of it. This one will be quite difficult because the corridors in this ventilation are extremely long. Okay, now I think we should go right and then we'll go left. It's really quite strange, but it seems to me that I feel that the exit is somewhere nearby. It seems to me that you already play Roblox too often because you really have some strange premonitions. Okay, looks like the exit is really very close. It seems to me that we are going to some kind of dead end. But no, it looks like this is some kind of descent. Wow, wait what just happened? Are we really in Daddy Pig's mouth? It seems that this is so. Apparently Daddy Pig was so hungry that he waited for any of his victims to crawl out of the ventilation and straight into his mouth. Okay, now we need to find a way out of his stomach. It's strange that he's still hungry because the pizza and hot dogs in his stomach still haven't digested. Okay, we found Peppa Pig and George here. They say we need to move on. Now we need to go forward on these cookies. Wait! That is, we are now really making our way through the stomach of Daddy Pig and I'm afraid to ask which way are we gonna get out of his body? Oh, <sighs> I didn't even think about that. It looks like we're really going to get out of his system. Um, naturally, so to speak. I didn't think this game was so disgusting. Well, let's continue our journey then. Ooh, looks like we've entered Daddy Pig's intestines, and this is his, um, poop? Square poop! Amazing! I've always wanted to know what color and shape Daddy Pig's poop is. God, this game looks like it's going to amaze me all day today. Okay, guys. Let's take our minds off the idea that we're really in Daddy Pig's stomach now, and just concentrate on beating this game because Jax is starting to get a little nervous when he realizes where he really is. In general, I'm a little shocked by what they added to this game, but let's concentrate on finally getting out of Daddy Pig's body and moving on. Okay, it looks like we're going to get another poop next, but of a different shape and a different color. I hope Daddy Pig is okay with his digestive system, because this all looks extremely unhealthy. At least it seems to me that even pigs shouldn't have this. In fact, I couldn't care less about Daddy Pig's digestive system. I just want to finally escape from his body because I feel extremely uncomfortable that we are in his stomach. It looks like we are finally as close to the exit as possible. Oh yes, look, and here it is. This is finally the very, um, exit. Looks like we're all not happy with what we're seeing in this game, but it seems we have no other choice. By the way, Jax, don't you think you lose too often in this game? Looks like you really didn't get enough sleep today. In fact, this game is really quite difficult due to the fact that it is as idiotic as possible. Oh, by the way, we finally got out of Daddy Pig's stomach and we ended up on the toilet. Now we need to escape from this bathroom, but there are a lot of obstacles here. I hope we never have to visit anyone's stomach again! Now let's get out of this bathroom as quickly as possible! To do this, we need to jump over all these strange liquids, and then we have to jump over strange, strange flying bathroom accessories. I get the feeling that time has stopped in this game, and we are really now in stop time in this game. Yes, I think so too, because I can't find any logical explanation for the objects hanging in the air. Okay, let's move on now. And now we will need to jump on these strange, incomprehensible blue spots on the floor. It looks like someone got out of the shower and didn't wipe their feet, and then these strange marks formed on the floor. Okay, we stepped on some blue platform on one of the tracks. And now we will go further along these tables. It looks like we're in the room where Peppa Pig's family is having lunch. Yes, it really looks like the room where they eat. Well, let's now go through all these tables and go further straight to the next test in which we need to jump on these strange yellow platforms. These platforms are really very strange. Looks like someone dropped a lot of dish sponges on the floor. Well, we need to overcome them all and then we will rise straight to some table with hot dogs. In this family, everyone seems to be extremely sloppy because they drop everything on the floor. Although this is not surprising because they are all pigs. Looks like this family has a lot of food. Just look at the number of dishes that are lying on their floor. There is pizza and cakes and pastries and hamburgers with fries. It seems to me that this is the most disdainful attitude towards food. We finally managed to walk through all this food and now we are running along some strange shelf on which there are glass platforms in the form of a labyrinth. Okay, 
I think it will be easy to run around them. I really hope that we are as close as possible to the exit, because it seems to me that we have already visited absolutely all the rooms in this game. By the way, just look, not only do they throw food all over the house, but they also throw money around. I think they need to show some manners. I think you have slightly high expectations from a family of pigs. Well, now we need to run across this coffee table and then we will go up this ladder made of Lego bricks. I really, really hope that the exit is somewhere nearby. It seems to me that now we are heading straight towards him. At least I don't see any more challenges ahead. Wow, look, there is some strange red maze ahead. It seems to me as difficult as possible because the passages in this labyrinth are extremely narrow and the turns are very sharp and unexpected. I have no doubt that you will be able to pass it the first time because you are a professional in passing these games. I think that you have already cheered up a little as you progress through this game. The most important thing is to be as careful as possible and try not to step on these red edges of the maze. Looks like we'll have to run out through that window now. Great! We finally got out of this house! Oh, hello, Daddy Pig. We can finally take revenge on you. Now you will receive punishment for eating us! Um, seriously? Did he just kill us with one blow? Okay, that was pretty brutal. I don't think we should touch him anymore. We finally got out of this crazy family's house. Now let's get straight to the next game.